Don't forget to like and subscribe. They, they know their way around the basket. And Valanciunas, it is a challenge for Inyeka, but it depends on how far, how much they feature Valanciunas as well. Hill. And he connects. Well, that three-point magic knee is still... Stupid. And Trey is looking for bogey. Nice fake there by Knight. And Nathan Knight takes it to the rack with authority. He's going to get some minutes tonight. He's come out aggressive. Bain, tough shot, made it. You yes. know, he really put his teammate in a tough position yes. to guard. Really, and a wide open shot for Trey there about 15 feet out. But again, Bogdan again, Oyeka counters him with quickness, athleticism, movement, getting easy shots, second shot opportunities. That annihilates the size factor for Valanciunas. So he yeah. can make that shot consistently. Trey. So he Gets bumped, count it, and one. Some discomfort, but obviously answered the bell to start the game tonight. But you're right, guys. He does not look like the John Morant we're used to seeing. Kevin Herter with a lay-in. One. 65-64 Memphis. Allen turns. And to the bucket with the left hand. Bogut gets in. Too strong off the glass. Okongwu has it blocked. Valanciunas didn't even leave the ground to block that shot. And this is where Morant is so good. He drives and lays it in. Valanciunas and a foul on Atlanta. Hawks looking for their first points of the third quarter. Bogey delivers with a corner three. That's an impossible shot. 72-67, Morant in the paint. And a dunk for Valanciunas. I don't think Nate McMillan's too far away from a timeout. Morant will lay it in. Well, you knew that was coming. He was going to size the big man up. 76-67. Trey, nice pass. And on Yekka with authority. And I've loved the way and Yekka has played tonight. John Moran. Oh, man. Unbelievable hang time. But again, dialing it in from long distance. And boy, we miss that guy and, and to his family. There isn't a day. Duncan and the Grizzlies are having a little too much wow. fun right now. Wow. Just come out and you just pick up your energy level and just keep playing. And Nathan Knight amps up the energy with that jam, his second of the night. Now gets it back from Valanciunas. And Jonas turns and dunks. They are now up to 52 paint points. Tony Snell. Oh, Tony Snell, a thing of beauty there. Had the three-pointer, but they closed out pretty well. Are they going to count that? And the foul will be charged tonight. Morant coming out to pressure. Tony lobs it, and Nathan Knight with another throwdown. Conchar to the wing. Bain will drive it. And the pass across the way is picked off by Bogdanovich ahead to Kevin Herter. And he'll go up and score. Bob, that's a good start. Yeah, that's a good start. But God, you can't make that kind of pass. Second unit not nearly as sharp as they were in the second quarter. Hawks trying to take advantage and make this respectable. Lou Williams. Yeah, Lou Williams with that patented fadeaway jump shot. Well, this, you know what? This is one of those nights where, you know, it seems like everything goes well for you early on, but just can't seem to muster anything. You know, in the second half. Bogey nice will get an and one. Second unit for so far are doing well, Bob, here. Yeah, they, they got it going. A little shaky start. But playing better now as Kevin Herter tries to corkscrew a jump shot and drains it. Bogey backs up and fires. Connects. That's a tough <laughs> shot. Oh, 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 man. And Brooks is back in the game for the Grizzlies. To, it's going to help close off this game. Nice block there, but Bogey gets it anyway. Allen. And he'll score the basket and go to the line. Okongwu the other way. Bogdanovich and one. 
Something that we have seen with almost every team, if not all teams in the NBA during this season, this compressed schedule, that you see teams get blown out. I mean, remember the Clippers got beat by 50. We will get started first with Terry Davis. How you doing, Joe? I'm all good. You know, early in the year, you guys wasn't really good in third quarters, but lately you guys have been excelling in third quarter. What's been the big transformation for you guys in the third quarter? You know, just learning learning from the past. Um, you know, all year, you know, we've been working on, you know, trying to play 48 minutes of, you know, our type of basketball. And uh, we knew, you know, some games that, you know, that hurt us, uh, we didn't come out strong in the third quarter. So, you know, just watching that, watching film on it, learning from that. Um, you know, I feel like, you know, we took a, a step in the right direction, you know, with coming out at halftime. Drew Hill. Ja, last year, Dylan Brooks said he can't wait to play Andre Iguodala so he could show him what Memphis is about. Do you think he accomplished that tonight? I think his, his, his stats and stuff tonight, uh, you know, speak for itself. Um, what, 23 points in the third quarter? Uh, you can tell, you know, he was, he was ready to go. Um, you know, with our team, we were behind, you know, each other, you know, every step of the way. Um, you know, all we, we all together. So if it's something with one person, you know, it's something with the whole team. So as far as that go, um, you know, we go out and handle business. And tonight we did that. Um, so we'll let, you know, that game talk for ourselves. Evan Barnes. Yeah, we saw you lead the game uh, with, the, with a little bit of tightness. First of all, how are you feeling, first of all? Uh, you know, I'm good. I'm a warrior. Um, you know, just had some back tightness, uh, you know, um, I think like the start of the third. Um, but, you know, felt better. You know, I went out and played, finished the game. And then, uh, you know, late in the game, it, it tightened up. Um, at that point, you know, I kind of knew uh, the game was over. So um, no need to, you know, just run on it more. Um, it was just tightened up on me, um, you know, late in that game. And, you know, I just went out. I'm all good, though. So uh, Grizz fans, don't panic. Adam Hey, Ja. Obviously, this team's offense runs through you, but eight shots tonight just on a night where it seems like the offense might have needed you to get more aggressive on the playmaking end of things. I know you ended up with 10 assists. Where do you get the unselfishness in your game from? Um, it's just me. You know, I'm a password point guard. Like I said, you know, um, it's rare you see a uh, pass first point guard in this league today. Um, so I feel like, you know, my game is different from, you know, a lot of point guards in this league. So, um, you know, whatever the team needs from me, you know, um, that's what I do. Whatever I feel like I need to do is, you know, what I do. Um, I feel like I just try to, you know, do what's best for the team. I feel like tonight um, the Heat was trying to, you know, blitz me, um, you know, just basically, you know, crowd me to, you know, give the ball up. And, you know, I'm fine with that. Um, I don't think, you know, that defensive scout worked with us winning, you know, by how much we won by. You know, I got plenty of talented players on this team, you know, who can score the ball. So if, like I said, if I have zero points, we win the game, I'm cool. Christo? Hello, Ja. Congratulations on the win. What uh, are the, the, fact, the key factors that you have so so many success against the Heat this season. And do you believe that uh, tonight's game is a kind of representation of a Grizzlies basketball? Um, you know, I feel like we attack each and every game the same way, no matter, you know, who's our opponent. Um, you know, tonight, you know, we had a had a goal. Um, we all, you know, bought into it and was able to accomplish that goal. Um, came out with a win with, you know, a very tough team. Um, you know, we give them a lot of credit, but um, a lot of more credit, you know, to our guys, um, you know, our starters, our bench, you know, they all played well for us tonight. Um, it's great as basketball, you know, we just got to continue to, you know, play with that urge, that energy, um, you know, we're playing with on the defensive end and, you know, let that fuel, you know, our offense. That's all the questions that we have. Thank you, John.